going through the mill and we hear chink. And we're like, what the was that? Anyway, took it off, swept it down. It was a bullet. Oh, was it? In the tree. Yeah. I thought, oh, that's strange. Anyway, milled a few more boards. Pink found a, another bullet in the same area. Yeah. yeah. But would have been either shot closer to the tree. Yeah. Or the other one further away. Because it was it was in the same area. Yeah. But different years apart. Oh, right. At okay. Things. Yeah. So we were trying to work out what was going on. Hmm. Did you work out the calibre of it? Or? No, no, it didn't work out. You could just see the bullet that was in there. I know up in uh, around Nibley, around Nibley House, because the Americans were stationed there in the yeah, Second World yeah. War, and I think there's a couple of trees up there that are half lead. Yeah, I can imagine. Of um, yeah, thirty odd six or whatever they yeah. use. So there's an area in Credgley as well, where um, there's an avenue of trees, and I spoke to this old deer, and she said to me. It was put as a dummy airfield. Yeah. So they had almost like cardboard cutout and wooden MDF makeshift planes. Yeah. And they used to light it up to make it look like an airfield, but it wasn't an airfield at all. Yeah. And it got bombed to pieces. Yeah. But some of the trees have still got massive lumps of stone. And shrapnel and, and stuff. And yeah. Shrapnel and everything in there. Along the road here, opposite Cannon Court, there was an oak tree. I, I don't, it was gone before my time, but apparently it was a, it was a big old oak tree. Yeah. Well, the Jerry used to come over and try and bomb listers in Dursley. Yeah. It's obviously making the engine yeah. and that. So they reckon it was a, a bomb and run from that, that they either missed or yeah. whatever, couldn't see it and just, yeah. and it was a stick of seven bombs landed. And the first one landed in the road, right outside Cannon Court. Yeah. They had to cut the oak tree down because it was full of shrapnel and dangerous. The mm. copper come down in his little A40 car or van yeah. or wherever it was, with his little slit headlights, yeah, didn't yeah. see the crater, drove it straight into the crater. Oh, no. So uh, the story goes that the copper came and knocked on my granddad's door. This is like three o'clock in the morning. And go, right, Tom, can you come and pull us out? And, he's, and the old man, granddad's going, no, leave the bugger in there. It'll stop anybody else falling in it tonight or something. <laughs> come back in the morning. So, but yeah, there was a stick of seven. And the last one ended up at, at the old scrapyard over oh, yeah. half a mile away. So seven oh, wow. bombs over half a mile. But out on the golf course out there, yeah. um, there was always a wet patch. In fact, two landed on what was the golf course. And, yeah. and where, where, where the bombs went in, blew up, and then they, all, they filled it back in again. The, the structure of the soil is completely it's ruined. Completely yeah. It's like a bowl in there, so it's always yeah. wet. Yeah. So that's from them. So. Yeah, but that was one of Grandad's favourite stories, was the uh, yeah. wooden copper coming there looking at where these bombs yeah. had landed, straight in the crater. Yeah, blimey. Yeah, but the oak tree had to come down because he was that badly right. damaged. There's going to be some old collars there where it's leached in. I reckon the next board we're going to see something. Britain? Yeah, a little bit different. Because that's still, because we're probably 12 inches, 14 inches above ground level there, aren't we? Ground would have been here, wouldn't it? Yeah. So that's quite high. And I don't know, it depends how they if they staked it, how they staked it, and mm. a little bit of resin pocket. Oh, where are you gonna get that, ain't you? Yeah. I mean, if we were cutting this fresh, it'd be covered in bloody resin. It'd be a sticky, horrible job, wouldn't it? You'd be out here with the blooming thinners. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like on the saw, just yeah. sort of jamming up. Yeah. This is our bit, isn't it? Yeah, these. You would know these, what you were there. Yeah, that's. But it's not lifting too much, which is. It's all, it's all sand, sandable down. Yeah. Just put cleaner good. over it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Lovely. It's not a bad effort for a chainsaw, is it? No. Well, what else would you do? I mean, where's, where's a mill big enough to put this right here? There isn't one, is there? If you squared that off now. Ooh. Took the size off it, you could probably put it on. My mill will do about that maximum. Yeah. But look how much wood you've wasted. Yeah, well, and, and you've lost this as well in the end, so. Just use the smidgen more, because he's. Another two boards and we'll be decreasing size. Yeah. If you did that in like half inch boards, the amount of timber they clad that barn. I know, but I wouldn't want to do that. It'd be 
bit of pump. Well, no, no, not a half inch boards with a chainsaw. You'd lose 30% of your boards and sawdust, wouldn't you? Yeah. Quite dusty, so I said maybe a, a mask would be a good idea, and he agreed. So I'm going to make him happy in a minute. I've made him a cup of tea, and I got him a present. Well, he's on the dirty end. I got the easy job again. I'm pretty much just a captive nut underneath. Mm. Got to have it just right. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> That might make you feel better. Hey! <laughs> tea, don't worry about that. Yeah. Cup of tea. Cup of tea and a cream egg. Eh? Cup of tea and a cream egg. Living the dream, mate. That's that, Living right? dreams. Mm. Well, you don't find many of these coming down a country lane, do you? Not yet. We've still got the orange one to come yet. That's all right, you're welcome, mate. I didn't mind waiting for you. You know, no need to say thank you or anything. And if you wonder why I'm in the van, it's because I'm on my way over to my brother's. Uh, he's having, well, they're probably almost finished now, having a new solar system fitted to his place. Um, Basically, he wants to be able to run his little farm um, and the house he's building as much off-grid as he can because the cost of electricity. So he came across a deal with some company in Bristol, I think, and he's having a system fitted. And he said, why don't you come and have a look? Because what they're doing here may well suit you with regards to up in the power potential at the farm. We've already got a four kilowatt uh, solar system fitted with the FIT uh, scheme, so FIT, uh, feed-in tariff. So uh, maybe we'll put another one in on batteries that doesn't feed into the FIT, but um, yeah, just boosts our power availability at the farm for Holly's Kitchen, because that is gonna that is gonna soak up a bit of electricity. So I'm just gonna go and see this guy. Don't know if I'm gonna video anything or not, but. I want to I want to get some numbers. I want to crunch some numbers and compare them to like the cost of our unit price of electricity at the farm now. What it would cost to put this system in. How long it's going to last. Guarantees, warranties. Um, work out the costs on it, and then see if it's worth worth our while investing in a second solar system for the farm that doesn't feed in. It just feeds us because with the mother-in-law there, now she's, her aircon unit is kind of on all the time. She's either blowing hot air or cold air. So it's, it's a mother-in-law thing. Some of you will understand. Um, usually hot air this time of year. So it's a case of, you know, is it worth my while with the uh, new development panels now, which apparently don't even need direct sunlight. Uh, yeah, yeah, so we're gonna go and see and and have a chat. I think you want a bit of wind in your tractor trailer, Michael. You're looking a bit soft on the bottom. Michael's little tractor. What a little gem. Right, well that was pretty interesting actually. So just being in a chat with the electrician who's doing the installation for my brother's um, solar. And basically we've invited the company to come and have a chat with me. Um, so to do everything I would like to do, it would be a few quid, and it would probably, with the numbers I've roughly crunched in my head, it would probably take me about four years to pay it back, as in um, what I would save on my electric. But, um, 
And that's if, that's if electric prices stay like they are now. If, if power goes up, energy goes up, then it may well be um, three and a half years. Do you know I mean? Obviously, if electricity costs go right down, which I can't see happening, it would take longer. But yeah, it's, um, it's definitely a chunk of money. But yeah, I'm going to get them to come and have a chat with me. Uh, and maybe uh, they'll talk on camera and discuss our options um, in case anybody else is thinking of the same thing then um, yeah yeah I'm definitely interested what have you got stuck to your face dog moss I might have to go and get me a bigger trailer. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, there's no sides on that, so I can, as I said on the hay trailer, I'm just wondering whether it'd be easy to put them on there, but. You're not gonna need a bell trailer, though. Well, I'll need the bell trailer long time after this, so. Yeah. You're not gonna need it for a while, though, are you? No. Yeah, well, yeah, hmm, yeah. Making me walk funny. <laughs> so we just sat on the log having a conversation while Simon was eating his steak pie that we warmed up for him. And then we both said at the same time, I got a wet ass. So and there's obviously some moisture in it, so we're gonna bung the moisture meter on the log and just see how wet it is. Bearing in mind the tree was dead when we cut it down. And that was quite a few years ago, and it's been in my yard. But I think the bark has been holding the moisture in. So yeah, we're gonna just put this over a couple of the boards and see what it's like. That's wet. 
24. Yeah, oh. Twenty-eight. That's where we got a wet ass. You wouldn't want that on your log burner. That's gonna make that crack. I mean, they will dry out a bit. What they really want to do is go up on bearers. But uh, we don't want to mark the wood. We've got nothing untreated. Yeah. Hang on. Is that better? That explains the wet ass. And we're walking a bit. Mincing a bit. Yeah. edge of it. There's a really knotty bit there. Yeah. See, so do the clutch brushes don't come handy somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> you singed me brush. <laughs> Oops. Yeah I got a funny thing you got the, the fuel cans at the wrong end. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Got to take long to it. This is the consumables that people don't see. Ah, the stuff they think is free. Yeah. What's your half a liter? That's probably sixty p a tank for. Yeah. No, that's that's just under a liter. Oh, is it? Oh, I meant the oil. Uh, don't know. Mm. Not too sure on the oil. Probably not far off the same. Yeah.
Just brush off your chains or jeans. These were black. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. A lot of pressure on some of this. No, we knocked him in a bit, aren't we? No, that's alright. I think he was pinching quite a bit down there. Yeah. Do you come around? You can do the there. Yeah. I'm actually surprised they find it is. Is the rakers too long? Brand spanking new chain. Is it? Yeah. I would have thought you'd have made yeah, bigger chips than that. Yeah, it's, a, it's supposed to be because it's a skip chain, which makes it for a smoother board. All right. Fuck it, I think I'd rather go for a bit more. Bloody ripping chain. Yeah. Yeah. Making them burp a bit, isn't it? Crack getting smaller. I think it is, yeah. Come on to the other side of it. Yeah. Yeah, see that that's what we're hitting. Yeah. So if you your, think about it. Your pruning it, wound. Old pruning wound and there was one that side. Yeah. That's because the lawnmower man was fed up with bashing his head, that's what it yeah. was, isn't it? So Yeah, it's like bloody shark fin, isn't it? Extra value. Is that what it is? That's another 50 quid to board, that is. Yeah, that's definitely getting better, that shape. That's where he was. Yeah, that's the remnant of that. Yeah. Green and green. Sorry. No, that's all right. I found one problem with helping you on this side of the saw. Exhaust. Exhaust? Yeah. <coughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? It's like bloody, it's like a saw chain. It's like ripple. a saw blade, isn't it? Yeah, it's ripple. Definitely worth extra that is. Got this. Yeah. Yeah. That's those two little hard little buggers you were struggling to get through. Yeah. We reckon we'll probably get two, maybe three more small slabs out of what's left of the cedar. I mean that's some of the big ones on there. They are pretty substantial. Um, two inch boards uh, there's a little bit of a shake through um, some of the biggest ones right in the middle which is a bit of a shame um, so there is a shake on some of them but it is literally one that goes right at the middle so you could literally split the door down the board in the middle spin them over join back together still make a cracking table out of it so yeah all I got to do now is sell them so Anybody want some nice cedar boards? Solid.
Maybe an offer. <laughs>